This video demonstrates how to add an external authentication directory service to authenticate users logging into the appliance instead of maintaining individual local login accounts. The authentication directory service is also known as enterprise directory or authentication login domain. First, let us understand how the authentication directory works. HP OneView supports two types of directory services, Microsoft Active Directory and OpenLDAP directory services. There are two steps involved in configuring the authentication directory. In step one, you define the directory service. Here, you configure HP OneView to use an external enterprise directory service for user authentication. In step two, you assign permissions to the directory users using their group membership in the directory. Use the user in group screen to define the permissions for directory groups. Let us look at the prerequisites to be completed before we start. You must have infrastructure administrator privileges on this appliance. Before you begin, ensure that you have added root certificate authority or intermediate CA certificates chain that was used to sign the directory service certificate to the HP OneView appliance. Configure DNS on the HP OneView appliance before you supply the DNS fully qualified domain for directory servers. Verify the forward lookups of the names and IP addresses of directory servers are configured in the DNS. If you want to configure an open LDAP directory, ensure that a user in the directory service has open LDAP read privileges for HP OneView to read the search results. Let us start with step 1, defining the directory service. Log into the HP OneView appliance. From the main menu, select settings. Click security. Select actions and click edit. In the edit security screen, select directories from the drop down list. Under the directory section, click add directory. Enter the directory name and choose the directory type. HP OneView supports Active Directory and Open LDAP. In case 1, let us see how to configure for Active Directory. Select Active Directory as the directory type. Enter the base DN. Base DN is the top level distinguished name for the authentication directory. For both Microsoft Active Directory and Open LDAP, the base DN is based on the DNS name of the directory domain. Choose one of the directory binding option, that is, user account or service account. Note that user account is the default option for directory binding. If you choose user account, user credentials for the directory service are not stored in HP OneView. You are prompted to enter the credentials often. However, if you choose service account, the service account takes username and password as input. HP OneView encrypts and stores the credentials you provide for future use. Enter the directory username with search privileges and enter the password. Username is typically the common name attribute. In case 2, let us see how to configure for OpenLDAP. Select OpenLDAP as the directory type. You can see that additional fields are displayed for OpenLDAP selection. Enter the directory name. Enter the base DN value. Choose one of the directory binding, user account or service account. Select the user naming attribute. It can be either common name or user identification. For OpenLDAP, you must configure all the organizational units where the users and group exist separately. The user and the group must be part of the organizational unit. After you fill all the fields for the chosen directory type, that is either Active Directory or OpenLDAP, click Add Directory Server. Enter the IP address or the host name of the directory server. Enter the directory server port. When the scope of a search is the domain or an organizational unit, use the SSL port. The default is 636. When the scope of a search is the active directory forest, use the SSL global catalog port. The default is 3269. In larger active directory environments, when the search for user authentication must span the active directory forest, Hewlett Packard Enterprise recommends using the global catalog port 3269 for active directory authentication queries. Click Add. If you have not added CA certificate earlier as a prerequisite, then you are prompted to add the CA certificate. Click Add CA certificate link displayed in the message box to add the CA certificate of the directory. Enable the Force Trust Leaf certificate if the CA certificate of the directory is unavailable. It is recommended to add the CA certificate to the Appliance Trust Store. You can either paste the certificate chain or choose to add it from an IP address or host name. Click Validate Certificate after pasting the certificate. It is optional to enter an alias name for the certificate. Appliance uses the alias name when referring to the certificate. Click Add. 
the directory server details along with the certificate status are displayed. Click Add. You can view the directories added on the Edit Security screen and repeat the steps to add additional directories. With this, we have completed the step 1 of defining the directory service. Let us start with step 2, defining the permissions for directory groups. After an active directory service is added, you must define permissions for directory groups. You can add a group whose users will be authenticated through a directory service. You can give the group access to a subset of resources based on job responsibilities. Now let us see how to use the user and group screen to define permissions for directory groups. Before you begin, ensure the following prerequisites are met to add users and groups. You must have infrastructure administrator privileges. The group must exist in the authentication directory service. The credentials of a directory service user must be available. The appliance uses these credentials to confirm the user's permissions to access it. The directory service must be added to the appliance. From the main menu, select Appliance and click Users and Groups. Select Actions and click Add Group. Enter the data requested on the Add Group screen. In the Directory field, select the Authentication Directory service by selecting it from the drop-down. If you previously selected User Account for Directory Binding, you must log in to an account on the Authentication Directory service. For the group, do one of the following. If you know the group DN, enter it in the Group field. If you want to select the group from a list of available groups, click Select Group. Search or select a group from the list. Select a subgroup. Click OK. You can assign permissions to the users in the group. Select the role from the drop-down. Select the required scope from the drop-down list. Click Add Permission if you want to assign multiple permissions. Click Add. You can view the new configuration on the Users and the Group screen. Let us now log in to OneView Appliance as a directory user. Select the configured directory. Log in to the HP OneView Appliance through the Active Directory. The users of the configured group can log in by entering the credentials. You can also log in using Microsoft Windows NT credentials. This completes the demonstration of adding an external authentication directory service.